just how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Another thing I'd like to talk about, which you guys may not be aware, if you didn't check out my YouTube yesterday, uh, you may not be aware, but I actually created a vlog with myself and my girlfriend, Kat. It's the first time Kat has ever been seen on video. We talked for about 17 minutes about... How things have been going this past month that she's lived with me. Uh, the fact of, you know, the fact that why she hasn't shown up in anything up to now. And how she's going to be, uh, you know, participating in stuff moving forward. So it's very simple, folks. If you have questions. Gee, will Phil ever do something with his girlfriend? When will it be? What will it be? Go well, check out this video. It's live right now on my King of Hate Vlogs channel. Okay? The King of Hate Vlogs. Day one views, day one inflated views, make the money, views, views, views. I don't want to be Mr. Views. So please check it out. And, you know, it'll be the first time you get to see Cat in anything, pretty much, besides an Instagram post. So there you go. Um, and thank you to those of you who, <clears throat> you know, overnight were very nice to us. Sent, sent me, uh, you know, positive messages on Twitter and the like uh, about the video. It's very much appreciated. You know, you gotta understand that Kat, uh, unlike me, has not been doing, been on camera doing videos for 10 years. You know, she had very limited exposure where for a very short period of time, a couple of months, she was doing uh, a few Twitch streams and gameplay videos and really didn't get into the swing of doing it, you know, any kind of consistency. And she certainly has never been in anything where she knew she was going to be viewed by thousands and thousands of people. In addition to the fact that you know that everything we put out on the internet is going to be scrutinized and torn apart and derided and made fun of. So knowing that, you know, being in her first video ever, I'd say she did a pretty damn good job. Um, so, thank you to those who have been, uh, you know, very nice regarding the video. And, uh, you know, there you go. Watch the video. That is what you will get. You'll get your information from. Do not bombard the stream, please, with questions about the situation. All of your answers are in the video. All right? Let the green roll in. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. Shout out! <laughs> Uh, then Critical for Day Street again, he said, shout out to the people that got modded. Kind of funny, people say that they got modded because, uh, oh, because they pay Phil, pay Phil a lot of money. <laughs> See, that's not the case. Here's the deal. First of all, he's talking about Infinite and Mr. Swaggins, okay? Both of which are new trial mods. They've been trial mods for a couple days and done a pretty good job. We're going to keep an eye on them and see how they do. And if they continue to do well, they'll become permanent mods. More than likely for the earlier streams. That's really what I need their help for is for the first streams. The reason these guys became mods is because, number one, they're stream regulars who are here all the time. They're able to be here for the first streams. People trust them. They're not troublemakers. And number two, they both personally messaged me and asked me if they could be moderators. There's plenty of people, folks, who are here, moderators of mine, who are not big money contributors. Blue Blur, Kekin. Popsicolo. None of those guys throw tons of money my way. That's ridiculous. These guys are longtime fans who, you know, help out from time to time. It just so happens that recently, uh, the people who were moderating on the first streams uh, were not capable of being here all the time. Oh, yeah, I shall say Bitha. Bitha, who has been pretty much the staple guy during daytime streams as our moderator, also is not a giant money contributor. These are just, you know, fans of mine uh, who, you know, like to contribute in some ways, you know? And, you know, I felt that Bitha would not have been able to handle daytime streams by himself. That's not fair. It's not fair to put all that responsibility on one volunteer's shoulders. You know what I mean? And since we've got regulars who are enjoying streams every day and they're positive people, why not bring them in and, you know, see if they can help out? It's that simple. It's a fun, it's a fun feeling, okay? It's a fun situation. Everyone's here to have fun and just basically to be nice to each other and make sure that we don't have, you know, negative elements and stuff coming in here. Um, it's very, it's very simple to understand. But, of course, idiots... WHY AM I TOXIC?! Want to spin it as something that it's not. It, it, it makes sense that those who maybe contribute may be the people who are here more. Duh! But let's instead say stupid shit, right? Stupid people will always say stupid shit. I actually saw a YouTube video a couple weeks ago. Someone linked me to it, and I shouldn't have clicked on it. I clicked on it. Some moron was watching me play PUBG. Now, here's what happened. 
during a PUBG stream, someone tipped me like a dollar or something. I'm not sure what it was. It was like a couple bucks. And their, their shout-out message was, Phil, uh, I've been banned from your stream chat, and I'm not sure why. I don't know what's going on. Can you, can you please look into it? So I asked the mods, literally live on stream, I said, does anyone know why this person's been banned? Maybe it was an error. Maybe someone misclicked. Because this happens. Sometimes you get a, a, a bot that spams or something, and you misclick when you're moderating. Or maybe it was, you know, a misunderstanding. Who knows? I asked the, the mods at the time, does anyone know who this guy is or why he would have been banned? No one knew. No one knew the situation. I said, all right, then let's just unban the guy for now. Let's see if he behaves. And if he behaves tonight, great. You know, welcome back. And if not, if he comes back and immediately he's some kind of a douchebag troll and this was a trick to try to fool us, uh, we'll just reban him. What's the big deal, right? This kind of shit needs to come out. This kind of shit needs to be exposed for what it is. It's a scam. It's greed. It's greed. Greed is massively strong. I have no fucking self-control. So we unbanned him and it turns out the guy was nice and that was that. So this idiot makes a video. Oh, Phil, exp uh, Phil accepted a, a monetary bribe on stream to, for, to get someone unbanned from his stream chat. So you could just pay Phil to become unbanned. What an idiot. It's, it's gross. It's for this. It's not because they love what they're doing. It's not because for the love of the game or because they're true gamers. It's for this. And this is what it's become. It's not about putting out a quality review. It's not about putting out a quality playthrough or quality stream. It's about making this. Anything for this, right? What a fucking idiot. No, that's not what happened. If you actually watch the clip, you'll have, you see that's not what happened at all. If this guy had just emailed me, or if he had just tweeted me, which is free, and said the same thing, I still would have looked into it, and I still would have unbanned him. In fact, I'll be honest, that happens all the time. I get emails or a tweet. Someone says, Phil, I don't know why I was banned. Can you look into it? And I say, all right, I, I can't really see a reason. It might be a mistake. All right, and I unban them. Okay? It's that simple. Uh, people are just dumb. All right? <laughs> WW Raiden just says, I just talked to Sir Noble, and I got myself unbanned. See? I, don't, I didn't remember this guy. WW Raiden, I don't remember you doing anything wrong. Maybe it was an accident. It happens, guys. You know, this isn't... A super, uh, it's not like a, a professional job of moderating a stream chat, you know what I mean? It, mistakes happen, and you gotta realize that, but that's what I mean, like, let's spin it. Oh, Phil only moderates people, who, or makes people moderators who pay him money. Phil will accept bribes to unban people. Shut the fuck up, you dumb bitch. Why am I toxic? More toxic, more toxic, overdramatic, drama queen toxic, toxic toilet juice. Wow. <laughs> Seriously. It's just people looking to be bitches to create drama. Let's make shit up to create drama. So, enough of that nonsense. <clears throat> okay. Well, I've got two different two different messages from two different people who are being nosy. And I'll just answer this in general. We had a guy named Finance Man who did a 25-bit cheer. And he said, But is it asking for tips and Patreon pledges against Twitch Terms of Service? Nope. It is not. Go read them. And go tell me anywhere in Twitch Terms of Service, wherever references, you can't ask, you know, for any kind of support via Patreon or tips, the answer is no, there's nothing there, you can do it 100%, and I've confirmed this with Twitch, 100%, it is allowed, so... Stop being a drama queen, which is what you're looking for, you're trying to find ways to get me in trouble when I'm doing nothing wrong and I'm not violating Twitch's terms of service, I'm not an idiot, okay? By the way, I really desperately need the money to help with my tax situation, so, hint hint, save the house. Hint, hint, sell the house. Now, anonymous, I got an anonymous dollar tip, and this guy says, I have a question, because you need money to pay taxes coming up in April. Wouldn't that raise the amount you need in three months, and wouldn't you have to keep asking for more and more every three months? No, that's not how it works. The way that, that taxes work in the United States, it's based off of your annual income. So what's going to happen is, my tax attorney slash accountant is going to take the amount of money that I made in 2017 make an estimated amount of taxes that they think I may owe this year, and then on a quarterly basis, I have to pay a certain amount of taxes based on that estimate. So, no. Just because maybe some people help me out, all right, through this tax situation in April, doesn't mean that now in three months I owe even more taxes. That's not how it works. It's an, based on an annual basis, and the bottom line is no one knows what I'm going to make this year. I don't know. It could, could it be more than what I made last year? The same or less? No one knows, right? I can tell you this, if YouTube ad revenue stays as bad as it is, it's going to probably be less. <laughs> Unless Twitch grows to the point where Twitch is making up for it every month. But right now, I'm not there. I'll be honest with you guys. You know, YouTube is in the toilet, in the toilet, in the gutter. It's terrible on YouTube right now. Um, <clears throat> and you guys on Twitch are being, you know, really awesome with your support, and I appreciate it. But it's not making up for that loss. Uh, it, it is, it's, it's close, but it's not fully. So, more than likely, what it looks like is I may have less money this year than last year. I don't know. We'll see. But... 
that's how it works. So no, to answer your question, no, that's not how it works. And maybe you should, instead of asking me silly questions like that on stream, you should do your own research because this is all publicly available knowledge that you could find for yourself on Google, but instead you want to waste my time on stream. So there you go. Stop being a, a moron. Seriously, stop. I'm serious. Stop. Uh, critical for days. <clears throat> just did a cheer. He says, a lot of people don't seem to know how much hard work you do. Think you have an easy job just by playing video games they don't understand for some reason. Well, that's the thing. Because people just like to say he plays video games all day. True. But I also have to promote the hell out of my streams. I also have to set up set schedules. I also have to buy all the equipment and buy all the games and arrange for all this to work, right? I have to upload videos constantly. I have to, you know, there's a lot that goes into it. There's a social media aspect. There's maintaining a website. There's a lot of stuff that I do behind the scenes that you guys know nothing about whatsoever. Of course, the fact that I operate my own business, there's all this shit that I got to keep track of. So it's not as easy, simple as, oh, I just, you know, I sit down, I play games for two hours a day and I walk away. That's not the case, you know? There's a lot of things there to my health, you know, my friggin' throat. I just say, you know, be doing this as much as I do it now, um, my throat, really, physically taxing, you know, gets worn out. You hear every day, sometimes I sound very hoarse, right? Uh, that's because, you know, doing it as much as I do. And it, it is, it's not an easy thing. As much as people would like to say, oh, I wish I could just sit down and play video games for a living all day. It ain't that simple. That's a very ignorant attitude. Let's put it that way, okay? I, I just want to play games and have fun and make a living doing it. Yeah, I'm a gamer! <laughs> <laughs> what a complete idiot. Smoke weed every day. All right, guys, I stopped recording. Uh, however, nature calls. I, I gotta take a steaming dump right now. Oh my god! Oh! This happens sometimes, and I've been hit. I have to use the bathroom. So let's get five minutes here. Everyone relax or grab a drink or whatever. I'll be right back, and then we'll start. Oh my god! It's terrible! What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.